Let's go ahead and bring these back down and look at the re-trigger button. So when I turn the re-trigger button on, it means it's resetting the LFO to its starting point at every new MIDI note. Let's listen to the difference between these. So you can hear with it on, the waveform is starting at the bottom each time. So the retrig is a little bit smoother because it's restarting the waveform and with it off, it's actually just continuing where it left off. Now the offset, this is used to offset the amount where the waveform starts. So if we bring it to 180, it's going to start in the middle of the waveform. So it's going to start by going down instead of going up. And 90, 90 degrees starts at the top of the first trough. So you can create some interesting effects and sounds by starting the LFO waveform in a different place. So let's try it with the pulse waveform. So you can hear how it doesn't sound as clean as it does at zero because it's not starting right at the beginning of the waveform. There's a bunch of different parameters here in the LFO section. And as you can hear and see, they're really changing the sound of this, this cello sample that I have. So let's take a look at how the LFO can modulate some of the other parameters like pitch. So we're going to go ahead and bring the LFO amount up on pitch. So you can hear how it's modulating the pitch now. So it's going up and down because of the square waveform. Let's hear it at 50% modulation. So the pitch is not modulating as much if the LFO percentage is down. So you can choose a different percentage depending on how much modulation you want to have. Now let's switch to a triangle waveform. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the LFO amount up on panning. So now you should hear the sound panning from left to right in that same sort of triangle waveform shape. And uh, then we could choose the LFO volume over here. And let's try a sawtooth down waveform. So if I bring the LFO percentage down, not as much modulation is happening. And then with the sample and hold or randomness, you could hear it changing or the pulse waveform, it's creating sort of a gating sound. And then we could bring the rate up a little bit to make it faster. So you can create some really cool rhythmic type sounds utilizing the LFO percentage here on the, the volume modulation. So this is uh, the LFO section in a nutshell. And uh, stay tuned for some other videos on how to utilize the LFOs to create some dubstep wobble sounds and some other cool effects. So definitely have a play with the LFO section and all the different parameters, and you'll probably come up with something interesting and cool for your next composition.